So Disney released their annual financial report, and this article that reported on it got quite a bit of attention. It's called, Star Wars and Marvel Comics Sales Drop Confirms Disney. And like the title says, current Disney Star Wars sales aren't doing too good right now. This article is on CosmicBook.News and is written by Matt McLoin. A link to it will be in the description. Basically, all this new story does is go over Disney's financial reports, saying Star Wars sales are down in almost all categories since The Force Awakens came out. Yes, it's true, Episode 7 was a guaranteed success, because there hasn't been a real Star Wars movie in a decade, and many people wanted to see what would happen after Episode 6. Well, the people who didn't follow the EU wanted to see it, because if you would have read the books, you already would have known. But anyway, going back to the article. Sales for Star Wars and Marvel Comics-related products are down for Disney's fiscal year ending September 29, 2018, compared to the previous year, and even more so compared to two years ago. As part of an SEC filing, Disney released its fiscal year 2018 annual financial report offering numbers and insights for their consumer products and interactive media division, which also includes publishing. Revenue for the division is down 4% from 2018 to 2017, and down almost 16% from 2018 to 2016. Profits for the two-year period are also down nearly 17%. Disney's Consumer Products Division is also the only division at Disney to have lost revenue in 2018. You could wave this off and say, well, Episode 7 did so amazing that it would have been hard to reach numbers that good again. Though this is Star Wars of all brands, it shouldn't have been that hard to sell products for a series that has crossed generational gaps for 40 years now. And if Episode 7 was so great, and the new canon is so great, and all the new movies coming out are so great, shouldn't sales keep going up and up and up? Episode 9 is supposed to be the most hyped thing ever, but large chunks of the fan base don't care or plan on boycotting it. You could say, those are just the haters or the EU man babies, but that didn't turn out too good for Solo, did it? And it didn't turn out too good for the rest of Disney's Star Wars, judging by these numbers. So, maybe you shouldn't wave off criticism so quickly. Worth a mention is that Disney's 2018 fiscal year saw more Star Wars releases than 2017, but the numbers dropped, which we can assume is a huge cause for concern for Disney and is at least part of the reason for the recent changes to the Star Wars film division that sees the movies slow down. Yeah, that's not good either. And they're talking about Star Wars releases throughout the year, not just the movies, but I assume the new canon as well. It's not selling as well. I know I tend to repeat myself a lot when I say that the Expanded Universe should continue as books and comics under the Legends banner, but seriously, if Lucasfilm did that, then they would legitimately get more sales. I'm not saying that would fix every single one of their problems, and their profits would immediately shoot through the roof or anything like that, but it's been almost five years since the last Legends novel released, and there still is a large chunk of the Star Wars fanbase who have been loyally buying Expanded Universe for years just waiting for you to continue the storyline, who are right now not buying any Star Wars merchandise. Some, like me, buy reprinted Legends books, comics, and action figures sometimes, but if there was new Legends content, I'd be spending five times as much. Probably even more if they released just one Legends book every six months or so, just because it would show us EU fans that at the very least they care about us. And in turn, they wouldn't be shutting off a valuable stream of revenue. And as small as it is compared to the entire franchise, if they're not making as much money like these reports show, then yeah, it might be worth it. Anyway, getting back to the article. As noted, the report also mentions numerous times drops for Star Wars are to be blamed on the stronger performance of Star Wars The Force Awakens in previous years, which proved subsequent Star Wars releases did not hold up. In a nutshell, the report reveals that following the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens, everything Disney Star Wars has dropped. It should be said the Disney Studio Entertainment Division numbers are not negatively impacted by the Star Wars movies because of the Marvel movies, and in addition to the simple fact, Disney has released more films. What should also be noted in the report is Disney is placing blame specifically on Star Wars for the numbers dropping for their Consumer Products Division. But you will note in 2018, Disney stated losses were partially offset by Marvel that had an increase. 
it's pretty obvious fans are shunning Star Wars in favor of other popular Disney brands, especially Marvel, which isn't seeing a drop and continues to make movies. So basically, Star Wars is the kid in the group project who doesn't do any of the work, and Marvel is the kid that has to work twice as hard to make up for them. How could you screw up with Star Wars so badly? It's Star Wars. But I think the biggest problem Disney has to deal with is the disconnect they have with their own audience. The sequel trilogy, more specifically The Last Jedi, is getting a lot of hate. These movies, for the most part, are what the new canon is being built off of. In addition to that, toys, books, comics, and video game sales are all going down. And the best answer that Disney can give on their financial report is that, hey, at least the Marvel stuff is doing good, right? The rest of the article has some ideas on how Disney can course correct and can hopefully improve from the direction they're headed in now, and I'm sure they can turn it around. The new canon still has a lot of fans, and it isn't a sinking ship. It's just stalled a bit. Now, as I've mentioned already, what should be added to this list of possible ways that Disney can turn it all around is if they continue Star Wars Legends books and comics. This will help with their publishing sales, and they do need it, because in the 2017 financial report, they mention that sales of Star Wars books and comics specifically are down, and if sales for 2018 are even lower than they were in 2017, then they have to do something if they want their sales to increase. Me, personally, if a Star Wars Legends comic was coming out weekly, then I'd be spending money on Marvel every week, rather than on one of those Legends epic collections that I purchase every so often. I'm not talking about this report to try to celebrate the failing sales of Star Wars right now, I do want them to improve, and I think this is one of the best ways for them to do so. Not a whole lot of new canon books came out last year either. Only maybe four adult novels, and the rest being children's novels. I'm not quite sure how they did sales-wise, but during the Expanded Universe era, they would hit the New York Times bestseller list regularly. Even the Fate of the Jedi series, which takes place several decades after the movies, with a lot of EU content in between. If a Legends novel came out in 2018, especially one that has been anticipated as much as Sword of the Jedi has, it would have definitely helped with the sales slump that Lucasfilm faced with regards to publishing. And these numbers would have at least been a little bit higher. If no new Legends books come out in 2019, well, let's just wait for the next financial report to come out and see if they turn it around by then.